come to California as I did in 1958, the first thing that happened is we had graduate students came into our uh, room and one fellow brought in a bottle of California wine. Uh, right from that very first uh, weekend, why I started um, trying to learn a little more about it. When Jerry started out 40 years ago, he wanted to get involved in agriculture in a big way in California, being a, a farm boy from eastern South Dakota. Before we were grape growers and, and wine growers, we were actually custom home builders. Uh, Jerry and I would actually sit down with couples, really just get a chance to know them for a while before we really designed for them. We wanted to kind of understand what it was that they enjoyed about their life and how they liked to live their life. It's very similar here in, in the wine industry. And you take those grapes and you make them into something that people will really enjoy, that gives them pleasure. The J. Lore story really is about a focus on place, passion for family, and elevation of craft. And this really comes through in the consistency and quality of our wines. There are so many memories that are so dear to me from specifically the mid to late 70s. Memories of running around in the vineyards with my brothers. I remember being out digging some holes with Dad and those first little grape vines. At that time, we really didn't know what this was all to become. To think that here we are 40 years later and those memories are still just as vivid as they were. That iconic first label that we all get to enjoy, I was so seduced by that. I knew always that I wanted to be involved. I uh, set a business plan for first 125,000 cases and then 250 and then 500. And uh, I purposely set a, a goal of a million cases because uh, that kind of got distributors' attention. He knew that in order to grow the grapes the right way, you have to make sure that you do your due diligence and that you find the appropriate region, you find the appropriate soils, and you make sure that the climate is conducive to growing the kinds of varieties that you want to grow. These days, you just have to make a great wine. It's so competitive out there. There has been a lot of change that has happened viticulturally over a number of years. We've learned a lot, both from academia, but also from doing it ourselves. A major milestone was in 1989 when uh, I realized that we really could grow uh, good Cabernet here in Paso Robles. And uh, when I say good, I mean outstanding. In particular, the really fruit forward style, the lack of greenness and the really soft plush tannins that we didn't find really anywhere else in California. The milestones that we've achieved, incredible wines that we've made, it's all due to our wonderful team. It's all about the people. We're so fortunate to have longevity of leadership, to have true ambassadors on our sales force. It speaks to the philosophy and the culture at J.Lore. These values around education and leadership and giving back to communities that Jerry has worked so hard to instill in our family and our extended family of employees. We are so blessed to be here on the Central Coast. And to be thought of as a company that has pioneered a region is just, it's just so rewarding. And here we are, 2014, our 40th year anniversary. Paso becomes Wine Region of the Year. Well, the, the future of the winery is uh, certainly uh, much stronger than it ever has been in, in the past. I'm very excited to see how we'll continue to build the brand and create uh, the best wines we possibly can for future generations. We'll continue to deliver on the promise of j -Lore. It's something that we hold near and dear to our heart. I think our mother, Carol, would really be proud of where we are today as a family because working together has brought us closer and I could not imagine anything more wonderful than to continue to work alongside Jerry, Steve, and Cynthia as we celebrate the next 40 years. <laughs>